this is going to be a video on how to uh, set up a thread cut on a little mini lathe. Here I've actually prepared a diameter on a screw cut. I've done a little undercut at the start and it's very important you must do a good size undercut the rear of it. This gives you enough time to stop the tool without hitting the next diameter. Just a little explanation of uh, cutting on the. Uh, that's a bit better cutting on the mini lathe. But this is your actual screw. Is your lathe cutting tools, high speed cutting tools. If you move the cross slide in 90 degrees, you're cutting forces that are on the whole tooth form. And the mini lathe hasn't got a lot of power. That's a lot of cutting edge to try and remove. So we move the carriage, which I'll show you later, 59 degrees, and most of the cutting force is just on this front face. Gives a lot better results and looks after your tool a lot better. Uh, so my mine set up for metric. I'm actually going to be cutting a two mil pitch, and you can see over here these refer to the little indicator dial down here and these 14, 15, 16 they refer to these little suckers how many teeth are on the actual end you can see on mine where I've got two two millimetres I can only use a 16 teeth gear and they go on and that's what that goes on and drives off your actual main lead screw I've actually got a 16 in so I don't need to change it come around and you can see I've got a 2 mil here pitch so I need a 60 and a 45. If it's blank, you can use any two of the same gears, doesn't matter. So the first thing I'll do is uh, change the gears over. Okay, I've now changed the gears. I've got a 60 here and a 45 here. And I've got two 50s there. Just does fit nicely. I'll show you the actual length of the uh, job I'm actually doing. It's a large lead screw, the CNC machine I'm building. It is capable of doing, you know, that's a two meter length of rod. Uh, next, I'm going to uh, move my carriage cross slide to the desired angle. Yeah, adjustments the cross slide it's just fire them two screws there just wind the sucker back in uh, I've now loaded the tool carriage at 59 degrees adjusted me tool it's very important your, uh, your tool square in your tool post I've ground me cutter so 
so the side was actually square I'll square it up just using a a square now the next thing is uh, you're going to be cutting this at uh, a slow speed as fast as you're comfortable with but it's going to be around 100 150 probably is your maximum uh, you can see here on mine a 2 mil for a choice of 3, 6, 9 or 12 you've got to sort of pick one and stay with it, you can't mingle I'm going to keep on 12 as my indicator so first thing I'm going to do is actually oh very important while well, I remember I'll bring my tool roughly in to diameter and I'll bring it to the nearest zero on here some people actually when they're threading they'll actually remove this knot and remove the handle well, it's once you start the threading process you only use this cross slide if you use this you would be actually shifting your thread pitch and be misaligned well, I always keep it on a zero so if I do actually de tweak it I know I bring it back to the zero I'm not far off uh, and I'll just dial it in on this cross slide to Just going to zero the okay. I'm going to attempt this with uh, holding the camera and doing this all together. So, I've already turned one of these threads uh, apart over here, so I was comfortable with around. RPM. So what you got to do is, might be hard. There's a little mark there. 